Before the Peloton finishes on the top of the epic Puy de Dome today, you're going to see many of the 80 volcanoes that together make the Chain de Puy. And I'm going to take you to the insides of one of them. I'm now inside the Lantigy volcano and here in the fog you can almost imagine that it's active and that this enormous volcanic bomb just came racing down its flanks. So here we have two layers from two different eruptions. One has fine grain stuff and the other one has coarse grain bombs. And you can do an experiment at home to figure out which of these two came from the more violent eruption. You take two plates, one you smash carefully on the table in a few pieces and the other one you smash violently and you're going to see which of the two has the smaller fragments. Here in the center of the volcano you might expect a hollow pipe through which lava rises to the surface, but that's not how it works. The magma chamber is a pressure cooker and the magma is cracking the rocks, forcing its way to the surface and when it reaches that point then it throws out the material that become the flanks of the volcano. Many volcanoes are active for millions of years, but not the volcanoes of the Chain de Puy. They were one-hit wonders. Some of them formed during a few months, but there are even volcanoes here that formed in the course of just one Tour de France. Not the Puy de Dome. That took about 300 years to form, but that was 11,000 years ago, and the fireworks today are expected only on the road.